Remember, it's not me they're going after. It's somebody else. And that person will not be able to withstand the fire. If it's not me, you know, it'll be somebody else. They're not going to withstand that fire because that fire doesn't stop just with me. That fire is going to go on against any conservative, any Republican, anybody other than them because they want the power, but they actually want to destroy our country. I believe that because there could be no other reason. But I know them all, and they, uh, in many cases, even admit it. They come up, they say, how do you take it? We take it and we fight back like nobody's ever fought before. Think of it. Think of it. We had Russia, 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 right? Total fake. All came out now, fake. It was all made up by Hillary Clinton. The dossier was by Clinton and others. Democratic Party, DNC. So we had Russia, 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 Ukraine, Ukraine, Ukraine. The no collusion Mueller witch hunt. They found after two and a half years, there was no collusion. Impeachment hoax number one, perfect phone call. Impeachment hoax number two, the illegal censorship of the Hunter Biden laptop from hell. Remember the laptop from hell? Remember that? When the 51 intelligence officials falsely said that it was Russian disinformation. Everybody knew that wasn't true. They knew it wasn't true. That's become a big scandal. That was another form of cheating on the election. A lot of the great pollsters, we have a couple of them here tonight, they said that uh, the, I mean, you look at what they said about it. 17-point difference. It's uh, incredible. But the 51 intelligence agents lied. Now the Marxist left is once again using the same corrupt DOJ and the same corrupt FBI and the attorney general and the local district attorneys to interfere in our elections at a level that our country and few countries have ever seen before. They're cheating, they're crooked, they're corrupt. These criminals cannot be rewarded. They must be defeated. You have to defeat them. You have to defeat them. Because in the end, they're not coming after me. They're coming after you. And I'm just standing in their way. Here I am. I'm standing in their way. And I always will be. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The ridiculous and baseless indictment of me by the Biden administration's weaponized Department of Injustice will go down as among the most horrific abuses of power in the history of our country. Many people have said that. Democrats have even said it. This vicious persecution is a travesty of justice. You're watching Joe Biden. Joe, I think of it. Biden is trying to jail his leading political opponent, an opponent that's beating him by a lot in the polls, just like they do in Stalinist Russia or communist China. No different. Our country has gone very bad. And think of it in three years. Three years ago, we were energy independent. We had no inflation. We had low taxes. We had low interest rates. We had the greatest economy in history. Think of it. I could stand up here all day long and just talk about all of the great success we had. And now we have everything's the opposite. Inflation's killing our country. Energy is ridiculous and ridiculously high. We're getting energy from Venezuela. Nobody can even believe it. I never thought such a thing could happen to America. As far as the joke of an indictment, it's a horrible thing. It's a horrible thing for this country. I mean, the only good thing about it is it's driven my poll numbers way up. Can you believe this? Way up. Now it's driven up way up, and uh, somebody said the fundraising is through the roof. That's less important. But I will tell you, it's really uh, driven us right through the sky. We're really winning big. We're winning by every. We're beating the hell out of the Republicans, and we're beating the hell out of Joe Biden. That's why they're doing it. If I wasn't, let me tell you, if I wasn't, there'd be no witch hunt. There'd be no indictment. If I was losing, we're winning by a lot. 
against the Democrats. If I were losing, you know, they're the party of disinformation. They say, oh, oh, we want to run against Trump. We want to run so badly against Trump. We won the first time, and then we did better the second time than we did the first time. We won by many millions of more votes. Much better. Not even close. We got the most votes ever in the history of our country. And today, we're more popular than we were in 2020. We're going to get numbers that are absolutely incredible.